in the previous lectures we understand all about Node.js. Now from this lecture we are going to understand what is Express.js or you can say what is Express Framework. So what is Express Framework? Express.js is a web application framework for Node.js. It provides various features that makes web application development fast and easy which otherwise takes more time using only Node.js. Express is built on top of Node.js. So any functionality of Node can be used in Express application. Express is similar to jQuery. Developer often have to write boilerplate code and lot of it. jQuery exists to cut down on this boilerplate code by simplifying the API of the browser and adding helpful new features. Express exists to cut down on this boilerplate code by simplifying the API of Node.js and adding helpful new features in Express application. That's basically it. Express is relatively small framework that sit on top of Node.js web server functionality to simplify its API and add helpful new features. So Express is minimal and it sugarcoats Node.js to make it easier to use. Now let me just quickly explain the best feature of Express application. Express application provide convenient basic web server creation or you can say a routing tool which is so essential to bare bones Node.js. It uses very flexible modular middleware pattern where special middleware modules or you can say functions used to process different requests. In Express, we have a new concept called middleware. Express is very friendly to functional programming and it uses the Node.js core concepts, event emitter, sync flow and streams. Express use all these concepts, so it's super easy to work with Express application. Express can build RESTful APIs faster. Express support MVC architecture with little bit of work. You can also work with HTML templates with Express using Puck or EGS template engines, which reduce the amount of HTML code you have to write for a page. Express also support the NoSQL database out of the box and pretty much simple implementing it too. Don't worry, you can also create a relational database like MySQL and other languages as well. So before taking your too much time, let's see how to create a simple Express application using Node.js. I'm going to just open the Visual Studio Code editor and here I'm going to open an empty folder inside it. And down here I'm going to create a new folder for Express application. So here I'm going to create a new folder and name that folder Express App. If you want, you can specify any name to this application, that doesn't matter. Inside this Express app, I'm going to create my Express application. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open my terminal and inside this terminal, I'm going to first change my directory. So I'm going to say here CD and specify Express app. And I'm going to just enter in my Express app directory. Clear the screen. And now here I'm going to create my Express application. So as you know, you need to first initialize this application as npm package. So I'm going to say here npm in it. So this will just initialize this package as npm package. I'm going to just specify default values to all the questions. So I'm going to specify hyphen y. When I press enter, this will create the package.json file in my node application. So now once I initialize this package as npm package using this package.json file, let me install my express framework. So let me first open the package.json file. Now, as you can notice, I don't have any dependency inside this project because we did not install anything yet. So I'm going to just close this package.json file and I'm going to install express framework. So here I'm going to say npm install and then specify express like this. And I'm going to just save this express framework as dependency. So here I'm going to say hyphen hyphen save or you can say hyphen s. Both are identical. I'm going to say hyphen hyphen save. When I press enter, this will install this express framework in the node modules folder and here in the package.json file, you will get express as a dependency. Once the express is successfully installed, let's start working with express framework. I'm going to just close this terminal. The npm install command will install the latest version of express framework and install it in the node modules folder. You can check out the express framework inside this node modules folder. Here you can find the express framework with the different dependencies. And now let's create our first node application. So inside this express app, I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to click on this new file and name this file server.js. As you know, we are working on JavaScript. So I'm going to just specify extension JS. 
if you want to work on express framework you need to first require it so down here i'm going to say constant express is equal to and you need to require the express framework so once you install the express framework you will get the express framework inside this require statement so i'm going to just require this express and store it in this express constant variable just after that just after this express framework i'm going to create the express application so here i'm going to say constant app is equal to express and then specify here parenthesis so i'm going to call the express class and initialize it to this app variable so this will create the express application so now you can use this variable as express app now just for that let me just create http server using express framework so here i'm going to say app dot get i'm going to call the get request of http server so i'm going to call here app dot get and inside this get as a first argument i'm going to specify the path so here i'm going to specify forward slash and then say ping so this is the path of this get request just out of that i'm going to specify comma here and the second argument is the callback function so here i'm going to specify parentheses then specify request and response then call the arrow function like this and inside this request and response i'm going to just send the response so i'm going to say here response a lot send and here i'm going to say pong so i'm going to say here ping and here i'm going to send pong just for that i'm going to just listen this server on a port so here i'm going to say app dot listen and then i'm going to call the port number i'm going to listen the server on 3000 port and then i'm going to call the callback function so here i'm going to call the callback function like this and here i'm going to say console dot log and then print server started on port 3000 like this save the changes and now execute your program your http server is now created if you compare this code with node http server then you can notice we just write few lines to create this http server in express this is super easy to create the http server using express i'm going to save the changes and execute this file so i'm going to open my terminal clear the screen and here i'm going to say node server.js when i press enter this will start the server on port 3000 so let me open my browser and in the url i'm going to search for localhost colon 3000 when i press enter we cannot get anything here because we did not specify this address so i'm going to say here forward slash ping when i press enter as you can notice i'm going to have pong as a result so this will just execute the get request using express framework so if you just take a look at this code then it's super easy to understand this function or you can say this method tells what to do when get request at the given route is called so when you type ping in the browser url this will execute this callback function and return this response message and using this app.listen i'm going to listen my server on port 3000 if you want you can change this port as well that doesn't matter and using this listen method i'm going to just listen the server on port 3000 just after that i'm going to call here a callback function to print message when the server is started so i'm going to say here server started on port 3000 so when the server is started i'm going to have this message so you can notice the big difference between a simple node http server and express http server now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this text and here i'm going to say node express application i'm going to save the changes when i refresh my browser you will notice the changes didn't take to take these changes you actually have to restart the server every time you make the changes that's no fun when you start working on a big project you don't have that much time to restart the server every time when you make changes inside your code to solve this problem we have a simple tool that makes it easy to restart the server whenever we make any changes so let's stop the server first by pressing ctrl c and then i'm going to install a new module so i'm going to say here npm install node mod so i'm going to install node one module inside this express application this will save a lot of time let me show you how i'm going to just install this module as a dependency once this node mod is installed in the node modules folder i'm going to just back to my package.json close this terminal and here i'm going to create my start command so here i'm going to specify comma 
And as I said earlier, if you want to create a different commands, you can use package.json file. In the script section, right here, I'm going to create my start command. So here I'm going to say start, specify colon, and in the double quote, I'm going to specify nodemon server.js. So I'm going to call this nodemon module and call this server.js file. Clear the screen, and here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, as you can notice, this command will execute this nodemon module and start the server on port 3000. And now let me just back to my server.js, save the changes. You can notice we have our changes. Now let me just make some changes inside this text. Here I'm going to say express application. I'm going to get rid of this node right from here. When I save the changes, you can notice this nodemon server will restart the server automatically. When I press Ctrl S, as you can notice, this will restart this nodemon server and you will get your updated request. So using this nodemon module, you don't have to restart your server whenever you make any changes inside your node application. You just have to execute a command nodemon and specify the file which you want to execute using nodemon module. So I'm going to say here nodemon server.js and I'm going to specify this command to the start script and this will execute this nodemon command. So this is how you can create a simple express application with nodemon module. Next, we're going to understand what is middleware. 